Hello, so today we'll learn how to edit our CSV files in R, and in this video we'll be specifically looking at the columns uh, and how to delete a column. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So to delete a column, you'll need to take the name of your data frame. So for example, right here, uh, the name of your data frame followed by a dollar sign, and then followed by the name of your current column and then you set it equal to, remember in R you want to utilize this caret symbol to set it equal to, and then null. So essentially null is a Boolean value, which is uh, uh, essentially that means that it's gonna delete the column and it's gonna make it not existent. So uh, you will set all of the my data and the dollar sign and the name of your column equal to null. The logical constant of null will delete the column uh, so here's the code I use to delete four of my column names here. Uh, so initially you see here's like C, R, G, B. This was all red, green, blue, and clear. So essentially I just deleted all of those. Uh, so yeah, so up here I renamed them to be clear, red, red, uh, green, and blue. But then I didn't want those in there, so I just said, okay, I'm going to delete them. Uh, so now let's look at how to how I change the names of my columns up here. So to do this, we're going to use a call names function, and then followed by the uh, name of your data frame, and that's going to be set equal to C brackets uh, the names of all your columns in the order that you want them to be in. So I said date of time time of clear clear value. So here before I ran that, uh, you can see that uh, we accidentally have this. Uh, uh, mistake here so this is actually part of the first row so what happened was that there was a mistake when we were importing our uh, file so if we go back to color data and we import this we want the first row not as names because the first row is actually the actual values so if you set this as first row as names then that's going to make it so that the first row is actually going to become the column names but we don't want that. The first names are already jumping into the data and the integer values. So we're going to uncheck that and then uh, you can look at the other video that uh, I think that's two videos back in the series that should explain how, uh, you how to uh, change all these names or these uh, characters, double character, integer, all that and how to import it in the end. Uh, so yep, we're done with this guy so we can get rid of him. Let me minimize this, cancel. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's go back to untitled and we can take a look at how I used this to change the names of my columns. So I put uh, quotation marks because they're strings, remember they're not variable, so they haven't been defined anywhere. They're just uh, the strings and their names or letters put together R doesn't really know what they actually are. They're just something that the R is going to take and add onto the column names where they're supposed to be. So first column we say is date of, uh, second column we say is time of, clear, clear valued, red, so on. Uh, so after we renamed them, that's when I went back and deleted the ones I didn't want. Uh, because if I deleted them before, uh, it would have been harder without renaming them and knowing which one was which. Um, so, yeah, essentially to change your column names, you just uh, take the column names function, uh, put the name of your data set in brackets, and then set that equal to uh, C uh, brackets, the names of your columns in quotation marks, and then R will take the inputted strings that are in the brackets and set them equal to the columns that are respective to the number uh, in that order. For example, if the first string is uh, that is inputted is date of, then the first column name is gonna be date of. If time of is the second string inputted, within the brackets, then the second column name is going to be time of. And pretty straightforward. Uh, so remember that you want your the name of your column names to be descriptive so you know what the values in the column are. So here in my data set, you can clearly see that the column names uh, correlate with the values of uh, in the column. So the first one I did was date of, right? So if we go to color data, these are all the dates, right? So that's why it's kind of descriptive and it helps you out. Time of, this is all the time. This is clear, and this is the integer value red, integer value green, integer value blue, integer value. So just try and make them as descriptive as possible. Uh, so if you still don't understand, uh, here's a good website that would help you out a bit. 
Uh, so yeah, this is a good resource that you could use if you didn't understand anything in here. So it talks about the null function, the prefix, and the call names function, which is extremely important that we're using for uh, creating the uh, names of the R columns. So yeah, you can check, this will be in the description. This is a great website, nmembro.com. Uh, go ahead and check that out. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching.